Okay, Shalom, Shalom, come here, say Allah, Koholoyim la, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to state the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Jachanah and Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, I wanted to touch on this movie right here. It's called Rumor, Rumors of Wars. Which, of course, you know, that's one of the things that Yahweh Shai spoke of. You know, that would be happening in the end days. But the the um, the main thing that I wanted to touch on in this particular movie. And this is this movie was, uh, it's been some years. It's, this eight years ago. But I watched it uh, the other night. Kind of half and half. You know, kind of like a little nice B movie. I ain't going to say, you know, it, it's, you know, nothing to go to the theaters about but it's it's somewhat of a seems to be somewhat of a christian movie because they was bringing out scriptures and all this other stuff but one of the main things is is this young lady right here and and you know um this is for uh educational purposes only um copyright uh notification um this is not not getting any monetary value out of this and um not gaining anything out of it except for it's an educational um video and educational um, purposes only but in this movie you know what what kind of caught me i was you know it was kind of just flowing you know how you kind of you know be watching um if you have your tv or, or whatever roku or whatever you know how the the, the, the trailers are just pop up and just show on their own so you know i seen it and i'm like oh shit they chipping you know what i'm saying so that motb that market of beauty and the beast they're doing this in this movie so when i seen that i'm like all right well bet i'm gonna check it out so you know this this particular lady that you see right here matter of fact we just gonna let's play this real quick they may show that part in this um little trailer here but and we'll just get down after that let's see let's see how it how it rolls i just want to just play it from here because i'm uh, anyway here we go an explosion went off just moments ago at a military base outside of chicago these horrible attacks will only drive Zern Global on to ensure two things worldwide. Peace and security. <laughs> Professor, it says here that the chip could trace the purchase. There you go. See there? Right there they chipping. That's what caught me right off the jump. So... This particular scene right here, this is at a college. I forgot which college it was, but um, it's at a college. And the guy comes in and um, he, he, he basically the professor, he, he, you know, he has to stop his um, lecture to let this guy speak real quick. And so he's speaking to the students and he's talking about, you know, this, you know, the chip and how um, they have to, you know, basically <laughs> come and get chipped. And it's crazy because he was basically like, you know, I mean, you look, you're going to get half off on your lunches. You're going to get, you know, some some money off on your tuition. Some he was saying, you know, but it was some incentives involved. And so um, I watched uh, GMS on um, Mississippi on the brothers down in Mississippi. Um, and he was going off until he done a lesson today um, called incentives, something to that extent, because that's what Esau Edom is going to be doing when they try and um, roll this thing out. They're going to be trying to offer you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, shit like how they was offering when COV was out, 1-9, when they was trying to get everybody to roll their sleeve up. Remember, they was offering free concert tickets, you know, uh, damn um, free marijuana. <laughs> I know here they was offering free donuts, free some of everything. You take the, you know, you roll your sleeve up, you can, you know, get this off your whatever, you know, so... And this is what this guy was explaining in there. So this is a scene right here where she's walking to basically be um, one of the main um, characters in the, in the movie. She's walking to be chipped behind this nurse. And so the nurse is getting ready to hit her in the hand with it and she takes off running. So they end up, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got the, the guys in the black suits, you know, looking like some Matrix shit, basically running her down and searching for her because her, her professor ran the guy off in the in the classroom you know um that was trying to get them to come and get chipped he was like get out of here you know what i'm saying and he was telling all of them don't take that you know and so i mean you know you get off into the movie but the thing of it is is she ran off but they ended up running her down and later on you know 
she ends up, you know, they basically grasp her up and they and they and they forcefully takes her. So that was one thing that I saw in the movie that I know that that's not scriptural. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to forcibly come in and, and take you. Now, they was gunning people down. They was, you know, firing squatting on people. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't getting down. You know, if they found you with a Bible, if they found you with a cross, you know, around your neck or, if, you know, just any kind of paraphernalia that had anything to do with um, anything religious. They was pretty much, you know what I'm saying, gunning you down or, you know, they was convert, trying to convert you. So if they couldn't convert you, you was most definitely getting gunned down. They was pretty much lining people up on some firing squad type of hookup. And um, so ended up she but basically they didn't show her actually getting chip but what they what she you know she did have it and when they showed her on the next thing she was like they caught me they snatched me up they forcibly took me to this place and you know i had to you know take and they forced me to get it but see that's not scriptural because this thing when it all goes down it's gonna be a temptation it's gonna be a test so to speak it's gonna be you're gonna make that choice they're not going to even want to force you to do it. They, they're going to want you to make the choice because once they know that you've made the choice, it's like you're choosing them to be their God. They don't want to force you into, you know, this is not like the old school Christianity. You know what I'm saying? Where the so-called white man came through and, and, and you get down and you lay down. You're going to believe in white Jesus. So we swore in you. You know, we're going to hit your ass and take off your hand or take off your head or, you know, torture some people in front of you and make you, you know, decide that way it's basically going to be i mean you know they're going to throw it out there where hey, you're going to either want to eat and drink and we have the supplies for you to eat and drink you're going to either come and get it from us and, but that's going to be a choice still you're going to believe on yahweh by shimmy or you're going to be believing in the so-called white man to take care of you and that's going to be the, the split right there so when i seen that part in the movie i'm like nah 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 you know what i'm saying they, you know, the way that, you know, they played the movie as if they, as if she was forced to take it. Held, they held her down, basically. That's not the way that it's going to be when this thing comes around. They're going to actually pretty much, you know, starve people. And, and basically, you know, they're going to come at you as if, you know, we have what you need. Come to us and get it. But what you're going to have to do to get it is basically you're selling yourself, so to speak. So another thing. That was in there. Matter of fact, we can just play it. Let's play the rest of it, and I'll go off into the next point, and we'll grab the scriptures. It's of excessive weaponry and stopping terrorist attacks before they start. Do not get that chip. He said I shouldn't get the chip. What do you think that means? I don't know the truth. say too you see the so-called jake i mean the so-called black guy right there they had him as the head the head guy that was in control or you know the head killer so to speak he, he had the soldiers out there and he was going hard too he was going hard talking about you know what i'm saying um denouncing god we're our own gods and whatever whatever they were saying you know what i'm saying but as you can see the young lady she ended up running off but still you know it, you know eventually they did catch up to her and she got the, um, you know, chip in her along with that other guy that, you know, uh, that was sitting there with her at, at one point in the um, trailer. But when you seen that car hit that guy, that's when they got away. But they already had the chip. And that was the thing. They went to like this graveyard or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Not too far away. And it was a picture of a soldier or whatever on a grave that the, the, the young lady knew. 
and she, you know, broke the picture frame and she took the glass and she handed it to the other so-called white guy and, um, you know, told, you know, told him to, to prick the um, chip out of her. And that was another thing that, that, you know, went through my, my mind on the spirit by the spirit was that, no, once you take that shit, it's a wrap. It's over with. See, they was in the movie. A few people done it. They was in the movie, you know what I'm saying? You know, kind of, you know, stabbing off into themselves and, and plucking the chip out. But they had already decided to just, well, you know, like I said, the woman, she was so-called forcefully made to do it, which is not scriptural. But the other guy, you know what I'm saying? The other one, you know, because one of those military guys, he went rogue on him. He ended up, you know, helping him out. He cut his chip out, but he took his voluntarily along with the other guy. But anyway, let's just get the scriptures, though. Let's just go into the scriptures on it. Because it's, they're not going to come and forcibly make you take nothing like that. They're going to want you. They're going to starve you. They're going to make you. You're going to have to walk up yourself. You're going to have to come to wherever they're doing that shit at and say, hey, I'm ready. You know, they're not going to come through, you know, now afterwards. I'm sure they, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they could get down on you. You know what I'm saying? If you refuse after a certain point, but. It's still going to be a scare tactic, so to speak, you know what I'm saying, to to to, you know, um, make you have fear enough to get it, you know, mainly it's going to be food and water, <laughs> you know, food and drink, you know, because a lot of people going to see their children. A lot of people going to be like, well, what's so wrong with it? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just going to blindly walk into it. But there's a lot of people out here that know about this, um, these particular scriptures, even so-called white people. And once I was looking at the movie, too. It was mainly so-called white people that was in this movie. I'm like, shit, y'all Edomites going directly into slavery. You might as well take it anyway. You know, because this, this, this truth, these scriptures don't have anything to do with them. But anyway, let's go off into the scriptures real quick. Um, well, I've been kind of talking for a sec here, but I wanted to line everything up. This is on Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so this is how they're going to get down they're basically they're going to use the, the food and water resources man because they have control of it and that's the reason why if you notice you know because let's get this real quick because we're not ignorant of satan's devices man He's going to use those things. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And, and part of those devices is. He's in, we know that he's in control of the food. He's in control of the water. He's in control of the trucking. That brings the food. He, he's in control of the farms. He's in control of the, the transporting of it. He's in control of you know. How much of it can go a certain way. They can easily say you know. Hey well you know this has you know this particular type of disease in it and we gotta you know kill off a certain amount of um cows and kill off a certain amount of chickens on um, the milk is not good we have to recall it that's why you see a lot of these recalls these days they're in control of what can be recalled now we don't have absolutely we have absolutely no control over even knowing if what they're saying is even true you know but we do know that they're in, con in control of the agri agriculture they're in control of the water um infiltration systems they're in control of um you know, uh, uh, just just the whole thing, because the uh, Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he? So he's in control of everything that's around us, even us traveling. Because the scriptures talks about a man may des um, might desire to go into a city and cannot roughly paraphrasing it. So they can come in and, and block off your your neighborhood and, t and give you a zone section number or some shit like that and tell you you can't go no further than here and you and you're gonna we're gonna ration you your food you know there's no more walmart you know what i'm saying there's no more targets or no more supermarkets we have the food you're coming up and you see the military there and the military is going to give you your box of food your drink he's going to ration it out so to speak and, and when people get hungry and there's nothing else to survive off of then hey, that could work because people going to, you know, when that hunger kick in, so you don't know what you might do. That's why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for uh, mercy and for his grace and endurance in, in, in those hard times, because that's that's going to be a real hard time. That's going to be, you know, like um, um, Jacob's trouble, man. 
You see? It's gonna be a real hard time. Matter of fact, let me um what is that? Uh And, and we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know this This is how this man is going to get down. Uh, it's locking. I'm trying to see. Going to the blue letter. Yeah, but it's more, it's gonna get pretty serious out here, man. I'm still not seeing it. Uh Oh, uh, yeah, I was in the, um, the wrong hookup. It's Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So, if you know, and that goes off into, you know, Isaiah 33 and 6 as well. You know, matter of fact, let me just get that too. Because the Lord is going to take care of us, man. The Lord is going to take care of us. And that's, that's, the, that's what you should be having on your mind. You know what I'm saying? That the Lord is going to take care. You can't. You can't blank out. You can't. You know. Get all worried and 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 um, go into a a, a a a damn anxiety attack, man. When all this stuff goes down, because we're going to have to totally depend upon you. How about you, I was shy. This is Isaiah thirty-three and six. It says, "In wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of of salvation. The fear of the Lord is is his treasure. So this wisdom, this knowledge, is going to be the stability of our times." Because we know, because because we have, we're going to be able to think back. Let me see. Um, we're going to be able to think back as to what Yahweh said. The Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying, basically is going to bring these things to our remembrance. You see what I'm saying? And these things are going to pop up. You know, we're praying. That's the reason why it's so important to study. It says, you know, uh, study and show thyself approved. Um, blesses the man that read because if you're reading and 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 these these scriptures are embedded within you so you're gonna have a a, a clear mind and you're gonna know okay I know where I'm gonna get my my supplies from I know who's gonna take care of me and this year how about shot right this is Isaiah 65 and 13 therefore thus saith the Lord God behold my servants shall eat but ye shall be hungry Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And, it, you know, it goes on as well. Let me get the rest of that. Let me, um, it says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Because J Jake going to be through. They're going to be through if they take that shit, man. And that's what the professor was saying in that movie. He he was adamant about it. Like, don't take that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and this is what it's all leading up to, man. But let's go back to um, Revelation um, 13. And, and they was mentioning that in the, in the movie. It didn't come to that point. I, I guess they kind of, you know, they was just kind of touching on. I guess little major parts. They didn't go all off until people was out there hungry as hell and hunting and looking for food to eat. They didn't go all off into that part. But the, the guy did mention that, you know, they're going to be able to track you. They're going to be able to, they mentioned that, that you're not going to be able to buy or sell or eat, you know, so to speak. But they didn't show like a drastic part of it where people were starving and, you know, because hey, it's coming to a point where, hey, <laughs> cannibalism coming back in style, baby real revelation 13 and 16 and it don't even make no difference if you get it if you get it you you through you through because they gonna tell you all right you're gonna be able to eat or um drink but shit this line fucker hell he might not even feed you after the, after you take it like uh you know nothing you don't, you don't get nothing but your ass is through you done made your choice revelation 13 and 16 again it says, and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And we've been seeing all kinds of stories on this, man. It's all kinds of TikToks out here. 
all kinds of stories of people walking into these stores and shit. And then you already know Whole Foods. They 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 have already set the stage for you to, you know, palm read, basically. They've already set the stage for it. People are already and then they got all these self checkout counters and shit. They they matter of fact, it's places where you can't even get into the store unless you um download their um scan their barcode or, you know, do certain things. You can't even get into the store. So they're already they putting this stuff in place and it's coming. It's just like that, man. They could easily say, well, hey, this is how I mean. And matter of fact, the one video I seen the guy, he was like, can you believe this? I can't even get into the store, <laughs> you know, and, and really you, you you're not going to be able to enter. And if you do, you're going to have some cops coming through Billy Club and your ass over the head and you get out of hand. They're going to, you know, um, pull that thing out on you, man. Okay, what it says, and no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See, nobody is going to be able to buy or sell when this shit goes down. And this shit is already popping, man. You you know, you you one step away. You you, you one um, um, COV shot away from that, man. Because they, they about to get back down on that again. You just wait until this weather really kick in. See, the kids where I'm at. They just started school today. I think some of them starts tomorrow. You know, you know, it's a little different in some areas, but it just started today. So you already know they're going to get down in a minute. Like, oh, yeah, we have to shut the schools down. You know, these parents going to be pissed the fuck off because now they got to miss days off from work. Somebody got to be at home with the kids. You see what I'm saying? That's what happened the last time. All these single single women was aggravated as hell because they couldn't get to work. And, and things going to hit a lot of women real, real hard, man. That's why it's so important to yeah, find you a man of the Lord, man. <laughs> Preferably of GMS. Find you a man of the Lord and, and come under his covering because we're under the covering of Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is under the covering of, of the Father Yahweh. You know, there, there's that, that order. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the men, then the women, then the children. All that. Old, and I know, man, it's, <laughs> it's nothing but women online right now complaining. TikTok damn videos and YouTube and whatever else complaining about how shit just too goddamn expensive they can't afford this the gas is guzzling up most of their damn check the groceries is guzzling up the rest of the check they're short on the rent so things are going to get crazy and th that's when they're going to start to you know offer those incentives like they're see they're creating the problem of, of, of you going through what you're going through and then they're going to come with the solution like okay well we can do something about that you know if you just come in you know <laughs> take that 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 thing thing in you they want to put this goddamn imp implant in you man but let's get um a matter of fact let me go back let's go to chapter 12 real quick revelation 12 and 12 it says therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So see Esau, the devil, you know, the, the you know the, the 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 physical counterpart of Satan, which is Esau, Edom, the so called white man, they know that their kingdom is falling. So now they're starting to implement a lot of this shit a lot more quicker. They're moving real fast. So you can expect anything, man, within these next coming months, man. <laughs> For real. But let's go back to um chapter fourteen. Because, like I said, when I seen in the movie that, you know, the, 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 you know, they was removing the chip as if that, you know, was going to do something. That's hey, that's not scriptural, man. You get that goddamn chip, your ass through. You might as well keep it. You might as well go in and, and, and get your, your your little food or whatever it is that you need to get until, you know, them damn boils start coming up on your ass. We're going to get that, too. Revelations 14. And um, let's start at verse nine. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. See that you are if you've already received it, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. It's not saying nowhere in the scriptures where, OK, if you take it, you can have it for a little while. You know, just take it out before the Lord comes. No, no, no. You've made your choice once you get that shit. It's a wrap. It is over with. Matter of fact, let's get um chapter 16 and verse two. 
It says, and the first went and poured out the vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them that worshiped the image. So, it, hey, you, it's, you, man, you don't even know what kind of. Let's get it in the NLT over here. The New Living Translation, it says, so the first angel left the temple and poured out of his bowl on the earth and horrible maglanet sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshiped the, his, his statue. And you're going to be able to pretty much tell who the fuck done took it because they ass is going to be out here, you know, looking like um, when them big ass boils and big ass sores and blisters get to popping on the ass. For real, man, you y'all better. You see what happened with this man when when people went out here and um, rolled their sleeves up these past couple of years when that when, you know, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of people not here no more. A lot of people not here with us no more. So y'all better, you know, pay attention and get a grip, man. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans because you are the true Hebrew Israelites. You're, you, see, he wants to perpetually enslave Yahweh's people, the Most High's people, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites, and they know that. Why do you think they tried to give you the, the, the jump shot first? Now all of a sudden they, they done enslaved you for hundreds of years. Now all of a sudden they love you so much that they going to help you live first. Get the hell out of here. No, they was trying to give it to you because they, you know, that was, they knew what they was doing. I ain't going to go too far into it. So keep your head on a swivel out here, man. This is um, Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Which means that, hey, you have to repent because we're right at the end of this thing. We're right at the end of this thing, man. You, I mean, it, it, man, you, I mean, it's a step away. Anything can happen just real quick. Because Joe Biden, just yesterday, he, t he said straight up, hey, <laughs> he's already, you know, they're, they're getting um, new, the new jump shots that work. And he's talking about mandating that shit. He tried it last time, but you know, I guess uh, you know the um, federal, uh, I guess the judges sh um, shutting down and shit, saying it was unconstitutional. But this time, it's nothing for them to be like up uh, because you never know how you know how grievous this one gonna be. That was the, you know the last one was the tester. This one right here, you might actually see motherfuckers slumped over at the light. You know what I'm saying? With they you know with the damn horn blaring, you know. He didn't, you know, hit the damn gas, <laughs> then cause an accident. You know what I'm saying? And people just falling over in front of you in damn Walmart and wherever the hell you at. You never know what this man is about to get down like, man, because like I said again, he know that he had but a short time. And he's he's moving pretty damn quick. And he's getting sloppy. But he's he's pretty much just letting you know, hey, look, I'm the devil. I'm here to work out now. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all knowing. <laughs> you know, because they used to be pretty slippery with it. Not no more though. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. And if you wanted to check out this um this movie again, it is called um Rumors of Wars. Rumors of Wars. I'm not sure what year that came out. But this was whoever put this up was eight. It was eight years ago. And it's about that old. But you know, it, it's a pretty decent watch. You know, like I said again, it's kinda like a B movie. I, you know, I ain't gonna call it no of course you know it didn't hit the the, you know the super duper theaters like that of course but you know it's a, it's a good watch you know what i'm saying as far as like from a biblical standpoint as far as like you know what i'm saying what uh you know uh uh you know what we were into because let me see though because they kept ringing out uh first thessalonians because this chick she had a journal oh yeah yeah they kept bringing out first thessalonians five and three in there for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And um, what was another one? It's, it was only three scriptures, really, that they was, you know, that they kind of pulled out. Because the girl, she was keeping a, like a diary or a journal or something like that. But um, they had also Isaiah, I think it was, what was it, 9 and 6. Yep, they kept bringing out Isaiah 9 and 6 for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, 
the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. And see, like I said, these are so-called white people in this movie. They was Edomites. They have no idea that this has nothing to do with them. Salvation is not for them. See, this is their kingdom. It's their people, actually, that's bringing all this bullshit to, you know, to the forefront. Or the Lord is using them to do it. You see what I'm saying? They don't understand it, um, Esau and, um, and Jacob and, and the fight between the two families. And that it's all coming to a head and that Esau is going into slavery in the kingdom and Jacob is going to rule over them. They don't they don't get that. So when I seen the movie, like I said, you know, you, you, you know, you in this truth, you, you'll peep. You can easily filter through it and see what's popping, you know, because like I said, again, they're not going to, you know, in that movie, they, you know, the lady was forced to get it, which that's not going to happen. They're going to really want you to walk up and voluntarily get it. That's, you know, because that's going to be the part of the temptation. Like, are you going to be tempted enough to do it? They're not going to hold you down. That don't make no sense. And then secondarily, like I said, they was cutting the damn chips out once they got them. And that's not scriptural. We just read what's going to happen to you if you um if you take this shit. So, again, you know, you can watch the movie. I think it was a little over an hour. It was pretty decent, though. I watched it kind of like in two nights. I kind of, you know, kind of came out of it about halfway. And then I watched the rest of it last night. So it was pretty decent. But anyway, you know, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say it, I advise you to watch it. But it's a good watch, though. You know what I'm saying? If you want to see somewhat of uh, it's got some little truth in it. But you got to filter Esau shit. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me a shalom.